Hello grade fives, here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump right in here into strategy number four. And strategy number four for multiplication is what we call repeated doubling. So most of us are fairly comfortable with doubling. So doubling means multiplying something by two. So if you had three and you're doubling it, you'd multiply it by two. Most of us are pretty comfortable if you get six. Or if you wanted to double like something like 13, with a little bit of thought, I think most of us be able to say, oh yeah, double 13, that's 26. We're just fairly familiar with doubling. Now we can use that to help us with our times tables. So the first thing, sounds like we're going to Tim Hortons, but it's a double double. So the idea behind this is you double two times. So you multiply something by two, and then what you get, you multiply it by two again. Now this works whenever you're multiplying something by four because four is just two times two. So double doubles work when you're multiplying by four. Let me show you an example. Sometimes we forget about our eight times tables. So what's eight times four? Because four is just two times two, you can think of it as just eight times two times two. So first, double eight, which gives you 16. And don't forget, we still have to use this two. So we double 16 again, and it gives us 32. So if you like the idea of doubling, this can be really powerful for you. So for example, if you're doing 12 times four, think of it as your double double. So double the 12 right away, so you get 24. But don't forget, you have to double one more time. And so what you end up getting is doubling 24. Well, double 20 gives us 40. Double 4 gives us 8. So 40 plus 8 is 48. So whenever you're multiplying by 4, you can think of it as a double-double. Now we can keep going with this. Is we can do a double, double, and double. So that's three doubles. Or maybe you want to think of it as a triple double. And so what is this? Well, what's two times two times two? Well, that is eight. So if you ever want to multiply something by eight, it's a triple double. So let's try this out. Seven times eight. Some of us, oh, we're not so good at our eight times tables. But just think, we just have to double the number one, two, three. So seven doubled gives us 14. So we've done one, we get 14. Double it again, we get 28. Now this is one where you might find this a little tough. 20 doubled is just 40. Eight doubled is 16, so 40 plus 16 is 56. So if you take seven and you double it one, two, three times, a triple double, you end up getting 56. So it's a really powerful tool that way. So whenever you multiply by eight, it's like doubling three times. And that works for any of them. So if you were doing four times eight, you can just think of that as a triple double. So double that four, which gives us eight. Double the eight gives us 16. And then the last time you get 20 whoops, you get 32. So four times eight is 32. So I hope that helps. Repeated doubling is a really powerful tool.